Hi everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age Awakenings. Pretty pissed off with the whole Darkspawn plan here. It was actually pretty clever. The speaking one must be involved in this somehow. I don't entirely know how, but I'm pretty confident he is. Oh, get off of him. Nathaniel's held, can you free him? I need to concentrate on the emissary. I'm still on hard. No, I'm on normal. Why am I on normal? I thought I was on hard. I shall do it. Because that should probably have been a tough fight. Elven trinket. Oh, I thought it might be a trinket from um, the Tread sister. The ground is trapped. I think this is probably a glitch. As you wish. Oh, maybe not. Again, this looks a bit too easy to me. There you go. As you say. What, why? Why give me that? Silly game. Well, it looks like we've cleared the area out. We can go back to trading troubles. We haven't been in the Silverite mine. And I haven't completed the statues, but seeing as I haven't found the ashes of the statues, I think the best plan is going to be convince them to give it up. I kind of want to test myself against uh, uh, Tavinta Mage, but I couldn't, couldn't find it. Stuttering a lot today. want from me? Don't you understand? I have to do this to get Sarani back! The humans didn't kidnap your sister. I know a human crime when I see it. I've experienced more than enough of them. You will pay for repeating their lies. Oh yeah, just summoned a bunch of demons. Yeah, thanks for uh, bringing some 
spirits out of the fade. Idiot. Oh, he resisted. Soft walls. We need to whack some healing out here, though. I was expecting another group. Right, let's go finish these statues off. That's what I wanted to do. Bastard elf. Must be a hill too soon. Yeah, well, your brother says that the Magister's death isn't going to free you after all. My brother has grown weak. In truth, weakness was always in him. He was a thinker, a dreamer, not a warrior. Look, how has your anger helped you? you you're miserable. This life of Earth is beyond bearing. The Magister stirs from his ashes and my blood boils. He yet lives. Anger imprisons you. Release it and it will release you. What you ask is... Difficult. My soul calls out to smite he who cursed my brother and me. The curse cannot be lifted. You must make peace with it. I... I will try. It will take time. You... you have calmed him. If it lasts, perhaps we can sleep and wake in a brighter future. Thank you. Are you two really of our barbarians? Does it matter? Before I sleep, let me whisper to you of Law of the Earth, our secret herbs. May they help you, stranger. Good night. Ah. The secret of the herbs. Do you think that is to do with the seed quests? It says we are rewarded.
Where? Uh, ah, there's the Magister's remains. Is begun. Nope. Nope, I have no idea. What the fuck did they reward me with? Under the fight? Really? That can't be right. Free me a prick. I am um, so confused. He whispered to me, and that was my reward. I didn't get. I don't know. I didn't get any. I shall do it. Give me a recipe, do you think? I have literally no idea that. I'm going to have to check that upon the wiki. I'd... Maybe I'm being stupid. I have no idea what my reward was. Being able to find the ashes, because I presume I could have done that before. I haven't got the granite deposit yet. Why did I miss that? I do not have a clue. That was a the game then, not me. <laughs> How can the Dalish hope to revive our past glory when we slaughter each other like animals? You started it, you stupid cow. I want to die where my loved ones died. Will you give me that at least? 
I'm not really here to do that. No, I want to talk to you. <laughs> talk. The Darkspawn were playing the humans against the elves. What? The Darkspawn are mindless. It is not possible. The weapons here were planted by the Darkspawn. I wondered why anyone would discard the weapons. But you say the Darkspawn planted them? That would mean the Darkspawn killed my people and took my sister. Yes. Why would the Darkspawn do this? Because they're the fucking Darkspawn. They make females into broodmothers. Yeah, your, your sister is going to become a broodmother. Are you saying Sarani will become one of them? I will not allow that. Oh, worse than that, she'll spawn loads of them. She'll become one and she'll create loads more. You by yourself. I mean, you didn't even manage to stop us very well, did you? I've survived on my own before. Do you doubt me? Look, let me help. I'm much better at killing Darkspawn than you are. You? You want to find Sarani? Why? Look, she's with the Darkspawn. I'm here to kill the Darkspawn. Then I pledge my magic to your cause. Great. Another twitchy magic sort. Just what we need. We Dalish must band together. I apologize for my actions. Now, where should we seek the Darkspawn? Mm, tunnels, most likely. They came from under the ground. The, the dying human told us that. There is an abandoned mine some ways to the north of here. The tunnels run far into the earth. We will likely find the dark spawn there. We don't need... Oh, we've got to take her. Sorry, Anders. Uh, yes. Oh, Grun. Yeah, I guess we probably could have killed her. But we'll kill her another day. I wonder how long this video's been. We're missing one statue, so I can go and find the statue. Probably not going to be super exciting. You really need to do a day of inventory, especially now we've got a new character. How many levels do you have? None. Plenty of skills to use. Only got lots of spells. Uh, we are going to have to do this then. Right, let me check how long these last two videos are going to be, and then I'll decide what to do. Not very long at all. Right, I'm going to run around. Won't be super interesting, and I'm going to find this missing statue. And then we're going to head back to town... In fact, we'd probably better go into the keep now we've got five characters and doing inventory. Okay, doesn't look like we're going to be given that option, at least not straight away. Oh, there's loads of them. I did not expect that. Shall be done. Watch your step. Ready. I'll take care of it. Manu Vinu. Now I will try once again to find the missing statue and head back to Vigil's Keep. OK, 
Okay, that was the fifth bit of wood we needed. Not massively different from the other wood fights. These bodies were brought here. You can see drag marks here and here. Someone was trying to hide them. We should cash in the seeds as well within this. Any luck? Did you find any northern prickleweed? Yes, we did. Here's the seeds. Marvellous. Look at them. Oh, magnificent. Such a smooth seed coat. Like onyx. You, my friend, are a worker of miracles. Here, I whipped up some herbal remedies for you. And a list of instructions so you can recreate them if you like. And now it's time for me to leave. Perhaps our paths will cross again at a later date. Good luck. I don't know what our accent is meant to be, but I'm guessing they should say herbal, not herbal. It's most definitely an American doing an accent. You were waylaid by enemies and are forced to defend yourself. you say. Not 100% sure why the dwarves are after me now. Don't know, just chance, I guess. I presume this is finding the granite. I don't suppose you've reconsidered? Coin comes and goes, but dwarven walls never fall. Oh. Aye, Commander. Okay, that's not the plan then. Uh, what did you want? Forcing me? Me? To come to your back? You need anything? I found an ore deposit. <laughs> this will help a great deal. Viridium. Armor and weapons could be made with this. Commander, if you like, we could outfit your men. It wouldn't cost you anything, but some soldiers would have to guard the miners. Yeah, makes sense. Have some guards. So I'm to make armor for all Amaranthine's rabble? Heren, you abuse me so. It's unconscionable. Commander's orders. Fine, fine, I'll work. But I want a challenge one day. Something to sink my teeth into. Forcing me, me, to come to this dreadful turnip keep. Oh, Your glares suggest that you don't care for my presence. I'm simply wondering how your kind can call yourselves nobles. It seems ironic. We like irony, and it rolls off the tongue better than oppressors. Ah, so you're a funny human. Not I. I wouldn't dare lighten your mood, milady. <sighs> right, I think this must be the shop here that we're looking for. That means everyone's favourite bit, inventory sorting. You can call an end to the episode here if you want to. 
Let's go through the weapons. Oh, never mind. Well, they're all rubbish. Right, looks like you need more strength, Nathaniel. Mind you, I'm pretty sure we needed decks for something. Yeah, we needed 52 decks. you don't ha oh you do I guess whatever that uh, legion bonus was was pretty good Marek's blade is pretty damn good though but it's a long sword so we don't want that in the offhand Ah, they're all main hand weapons. Oh, I don't have access to the man, that's very, very annoying. Ah. Oh. You know, I'm actually not the first how to be a Grey Warden. Oh, I just want to sort my inventory, Nathaniel. Your father didn't mention that. Or maybe he did. It was my grandfather we're talking about. His name was Padrick Howe. He joined the Order before it returned to Ferelden just after the war. Never contacted his family again. Just vanished. Now that I know about the joining, I think he died. Many good men and women actually die in the joining. I know that now. Father always said he was a horrible man for abandoning the family to join a pointless cause. I grew up ashamed of my grandfather. But now I see his bravery. That will take some getting used to. Yeah, the only shame was your father's. My father often forgot that nobility has another meaning. I told you that the bow you gave me was my grandfather's, didn't I? Thank you for that. At any rate, we should probably get back to it. There are darkspawn to kill, I'll bet. Somewhere. Oh. That's all the weapons sorted. Hmm. Skins of the Keeper is good because it gives to all attributes, but this gives to the attributes you actually need. I don't know if she has blood magic or not.
You don't yet have blood magic. And I can't level them up from there, apparently. No reason I can't give you blood magic, though. Maybe I haven't unlocked it yet, so maybe there is, but we'll hang on to blood promise. Maybe that's our inventory sorting done then. Because we, we should probably take off those... Um, those crafting items before we sell them. Who does that for me? I can't remember. I'll check that and I'll also check out what we got from the peace statue. Right, from the statue brothers we got some recipes not super interesting but that's what we got and ambassador Sira does enchanting for us may I be of service of course Might as well stick Marek's blade in here because it is actually good, isn't it? As is Bregan's bow. As uh, these two things here. And everything else we can clear out our inventory. It is begun. Your back. You need anything? Oh, of course. Oh, I should probably have stashed the Hal bow in case it was important. Oh, we could actually use them. Still, they're sold now. Right, that's good enough for inventory sorting for now. Let's head back to the mine. Got to level up my second mage, didn't I? That was silly. Yeah, we could level you up first. Deck so you can use that stupid bow. And I was uh, sustained, but... Uh, it's a bit fussy, isn't it? It's probably good, but it's just hard work to actually use. I mean, that's passive. We'll head that way anyway. That means I've got to shunt everything along one space. And time to level up our friend. You can take Blood Mage. Let's do that then. But I left my bloody Blood Rage robes back in the keep. Ugh. Sound good, but we'll take it anyway. 
So we can use health to instead of mana. Kill the ally to heal yourself doesn't sound very useful either. Ah, uh, boil all hostile targets blood. Well, that's actually good for once. Blood control. The blood mage forcibly controls the target's blood. Making the target an ally of a caster. So that creates a turncoat. So that is actually very good. We should probably do uh, Keeper, as that's our other um, splat book class. And that's what you're going for anyway. You don't really need this, because I've already got that. Anders has got most of those. Right, we'll take what we've done so far. I kind of think Spirit Healer, to be honest. I know it's boring, but it's just really useful. Right, now we've got two spells left. I don't have that. Permanent bonus to spell power is probably good. Well, sounds pretty good as well. What have you almost... You've almost completed Petrify, which is good. I've already got a Petrify, though. Well, let's complete these two. Do I really want to make a trip back to get that bloody cloak? Fine, I'll do it. So you not only gave up on killing the Grey Warden who murdered your father, you actually joined the Order. Are you trying to pick a fight, Velana? Baiting me like this is juvenile. I just wanted to know how you felt. How do you feel knowing you murdered all those people because you were too arrogant to check your facts? Warm and fuzzy. You're a terrible person. And your ears are clownish. What? Who's juvenile now? You believe that your ancestors used to be immortal? I don't believe it. It's true. How do you know? Why would the Elders lie? Why, indeed. So you don't believe the Elves were immortal? When did I say that? You asked me if I believed that my ancestors were once immortal. And where in that question was it implied that I believed otherwise? Then you do believe that the Elves were immortal? I didn't say that either. You are exasperating. So you have a sister as well? A younger sister? That is no secret. I've mentioned her several times now. For the longest time I thought my sister was dead. When we were children, she put beetles in my blankets. She would laugh to hear me shriek. Sarani liked to put sap in my hair. She also pushed me into an icy river. Twice. Ouch. Hmm, yes. Why did I want to rescue her again? Well, thank you for watching, and come back for the next episode where we will storm the mine. The Deep Roads. There isn't a dwarf alive who remembers the Deep Roads as they once were. They were the network of tunnels that joined the tigers together. To be honest, it isn't even right to give them such a simple term as tunnels. They are works of art, with centuries of planning demonstrated in the geometry of their walls, with the statues of the paragons that watch over the travellers, with the flow of the lava that keeps the deep roads lit and warm. The cloud gazers up on the surface talk of the imperial highway built by the Magisters of old, a raised walkway that crossed thousands of miles, something that could only have been built by magic. Perhaps it is comparable to the deep roads, although we dwarves didn't need magic. I suppose it doesn't matter anymore. The Darkspawn rule the Deep Roads now. When Orzammar sealed off the entrances to the Deep Roads, abandoning everything that lay out there, we handed over the kingdom that was to those black bastards forever. To think that there are genlocks crawling over Bonamar now, tearing down our statues and defiling our greatest works. Corruption covers everything we built out there. Every dwarf who goes out and comes back says it gets a little worse with each passing year, and the foulness spreads a little further. And the cloud gazers think that the Darkspawn are gone, just because they aren't spilling out onto the surface. Huh. One day, when Orzammar is gone for good, they'll find out differently. 
Those darkspawn won't have anywhere else to go but up, and they'll do it. The surface folk will have themselves a blight that will never end. Transcript of a conversation with a member of the Dwarven Mining Cast, 890 Blessed Age. House Iduken, Shield of Orzammar. The Assembly has never named a Paragon with so little disagreement as there was for Paragon Iduken. No naysayers, only a single abstention. His worthiness was unquestionable, his favour with the ancestors clear. But family rumour says that the man himself was deeply troubled, prone to fits of melancholy and self-doubt, never satisfied with his great achievement in protecting Orzammar, he died cursing that he had not managed to save the outlying Tigers. Before he rose to Paragon, he was of little note. The memories tell us that he never entered a single proving, never sought to elevate his place amongst the warrior cast. He spent most of his years prior to the first blight fighting skirmishes in the deep roads, keeping them free from surface bandits, content to live quietly with his wife and daughters. When the blight began, it caught Orzammar in the midst of a vicious inter-house war. Most of the warrior cast was caught up in the feuding, for as word of the attacks poured in, each great house demanded that the army be sent to defend their tyke, and no house would agree to sacrifice their own holdings for the safety of any others. The assembly was so utterly tied up with the infighting that the Darkspawn spread, unchecked, to the gates of Orzammar herself. In the chaos, Idu grudgingly took command of the armies. He enlisted the aid of the mining cast to collapse over in passages, called upon the smith cast to supply them with arms, and bypassed the assembly and the nobles entirely. With Iduken's leadership, Orzammar was saved from annihilation, and for his insubordination, he was made a paragon. Yet he always considered it a defeat. From a history of Iduken, Paragon, King, Peacemaker, by Scholar Gertek. Orzammar History, Chapter 1 The memories tell us that our kingdom once reached far beyond the mountains, and that the Tigers were almost beyond counting. Cal Shirok was the capital then, home to all the noble houses, and Orzammar was simply the home of the minor and smith castes. It was with the Tevinter Imperium that things changed. Paragon Garol moved the seat of power to Orzammar to more closely oversee the trade that began with the surface. It seemed that our people were entering a new age of prosperity. The memories hold no explanations for the coming of the Darkspawn, only questions. At first they were rumours, noises in the deep roads, a lost traveller here and there. The warrior cast sent men to patrol the road and thought the matter settled. We did not know that while we searched for them, they were engaged in a search of their own. Sleeping deep within the stone itself was the Archdemon. The Darkspawn found him, and awakened him, and the blight began. The Darkspawn then poured out of the deep roads like smoke, and the warrior cast struggled to hold them back. Countless tigers were lost in the first blight, but, as ever, in the worst moments of our need, a paragon arose. Paragon Iduken led the defences of Orzammar, and the Dark Horde was beaten back. The cost of victory, however, was great, Many of the deep roads were sealed to hold back the Darkspawn, cutting off tigers and even whole cities forever. Orzammar as a kingdom, as told by Shaper Zibor. Orzammar History, Chapter 2 We were losing the war against the Darkspawn. Slowly, a few men at a time, but losing all the same. The warrior caste was dwindling with each generation, as more able-bodied men perished in their prime without fathering sons. With each generation, more of the deep roads had to be sealed, more tigers lost forever. The kings of Orzammar watched, and wondered how long it would be until nothing remained of our people but the memories. And then Paragon Caradin arose from the smith cast with a new weapon, golems, giant soldiers of living stone and metal, each one was an army. With the Paragon's golems we began to retake the lands we had lost. For a while there was hope that victory, final victory, was coming. But at the height of the war, Paragon Caradin disappeared, and with him, the means to make golems. Several forays were made into the deep roads to search for the Paragon, but nothing was ever found. Over time, the golems we had were damaged beyond repair, and we began our slide, once again, towards extinction. From Orzammar as a Kingdom, as told by Shaper Zibor. Parvalen, the Occupied North In the 30th year of the Steel Age, the first Canary ships were sighted off the coast of Parvalen in the far north marking the beginning of a new age of warfare. History calls this the First Canary War, but it was mostly a one-sided bloodbath, with the Canari advancing far into the mainland. Canari warriors in glittering steel armour carved through armies with ease. Their cannons, the likes of which our ancestors had never seen, reduced city walls to rubble in a matter of seconds. Stories of Canari occupation vary greatly. It is said that they dismantled families and sent captives into learning camps for indoctrination into their religion. Those who refused to cooperate disappeared to mines or construction camps. 
For every tale of suffering, however, there is another of enlightenment deriving from something called the Kun. This is either a philosophical code or a written text that governs all aspects of Canary life, perhaps both. One converted Sayeren reported pity for those who refused to embrace the Kun, as if the conquerors had led into a sort of self-discovery. For all my life I followed the Maker wherever his path led me, he wrote, but in the Kun I have found the means to travel my own path. It has been said that the most complete way to wipe out a people is not with blades but with books. Thankfully, a world that had repelled four blights would not so easily bow to a foreign aggressor. And so, the exalted marches began. The greatest advantage of the Chantry-led forces was the Circle of Magi. For all their technology, the Canari appeared to harbour great hatred for magic. Faced with cannons, the Chantry responded with lightning and balls of fire. The Canari armies lacked the sheer numbers of humanity. So many were slain at Manus Pell, on both sides, that the veil is said to be permanently sundered, the ruins still plagued by restless corpses. But each year the Chantry pushed further and further into the Canari lines, although local combats to the Kuhn proved difficult to return to Andraste's teachings. By the end of the Storm Age, the Canari were truly pushed back. Ravain was the only human land that retained the Canari religion after being freed, and its rulers attempted to barter a peace. Most human lands signed into the Lomarin Accord, except in the Tevinter Imperium. It is a shaky peace that has lasted to this day. From the Exalted Marches, an examination of Chantry warfare by Sister Patrine, Chantry scholar.